I'm a human rights lawyer in Pakistan and I am doing this job since last about 33 years. I'm in the field of human rights, being a lawyer and being a human being. My work is for humanity. There is no difference in any nationality, there is no difference in any religion. But being a Pakistani, I am a proud Pakistani. I feel proud to be a Pakistani. I have no sympathy whatsoever with the criminals, hardened criminals and the terrorists. But in Pakistan, India, Bangladesh and Middle Eastern countries, you will find most of the prisoners innocent. I am working for human beings. I have nothing to do with the boundaries. I have nothing to do with the religions. If we are the children of the same father and mother, what is the problem? You can say there are different names. Hindu is a name, Muslim is a name, Christian is a name, uh, other religions, they are, they, are, they are recognition by name. But why, why enmity between the religions or, and the boundaries when Adam and Eve came into this uh, beautiful uh, earth of God? There was no boundary. Now we have a boundary. Those who are living in Pakistan, either they are Hindu, Sikh, Christians, or whatever they are, for me, they are just Pakistanis. There should be no discrimination with minorities. If you will say minority, it, it already creates some type of differentiate. It will differentiate between the nationality. Because if they are in minority, they are not Pakistani. Wherever, if you are living in any country, and if you are in minority, you are not getting justice because you are in minority. This is the responsibility of the government to treat them as human beings, first nationals, then human beings. Because once you will feel them nationals, so justice will be equal for everybody. If you will see them or if you will call them as Hindu or Sikh or Christian or like that, they will never get justice. I am not in favor of blasphemy law, no, because in, in, in Pakistan and in other poor countries, you can buy a, a, a witness and the witness, while paying 15 to 20,000, he will take a Quran, even Quran in his hand, and he will go in a court and he will say whatever the prosecution will say to, uh, in, say in the court. So I think it's not good. There is a big problem because you know, the, the threats are with the uh, judges as well. If he, will, if he or she will release her, there is a big problem. So now depend on the president of Pakistan or the government of Pakistan, what they are going to do. But for me, uh, not good, it's not good. What's happening with Asia Bibi? Because there was a fight on water. It was not the matter of uh, blasphemy. It was the matter of, uh, drinking of water in one glass. Somebody said, you are non-Muslim. She said something else. So it was just a simple uh, problem that was created by one mullah. So I think uh, there should be justice with that. Once somebody gets justice and once somebody is happy, I would like to, I don't want to see tears in the eyes of any human beings. I want to give them a smile and feel happiness. So once I give some, some type of, some sort of, uh, something good to any human being, I always feel very strong and uh, very happy. I am you and you are me. Once you will feel the pain of others, and once you will start giving happiness to others, you will feel that you are a human being. If you will give pain to others, you are not human beings. A smile, giving a smile, giving happiness, and try to be a family. Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, uh, Yahudi, they, they, they all are family. We should, not, we should not hate anybody on the basis of religion or boundaries.